And we're back with a new day of Age of Odds End All Wars here. Just a minor, we're playing the Eastern Entente. Things are going rather well for us. Um, just because it has been a while. Let's look at the overall strategic situation here. So we're at about 2.1 million casualties on our side. Central Powers have lost 6.4 million. Western Entente, 3.3. So putting the Entente together, that's approximately 4.4 million men dead. Excuse me, I can do math. 5.4 million dead um, to the 6.4 of the Central Powers. So they're a million ahead of us on casualties. Obviously, we are doing better than they are, as evidenced by the fact we have seized Vienna. We have also seized Budapest. And that is an odd symbol. Should like have that simple. So we control Budapest. Taking a look. Let's turn the map to good old supply stocks alignment. Maybe I should stick some troops in there for the alignment. Well, you're getting ready. So we'll be the fastest way to get you over there. Two days straight through. Yeah. Disputed ownership. Hmm. Okay. So, right now, obviously, we're it's winter. Um, we're not making any advances because of the severe attrition penalties. Um, we've mostly just moved our troops up to prepare for our summer offensive, but of course we've not actually begun said summer offensive because it is not summer yet. Um, other things that are going on. Romania has recently come into the war on our side, and we do control the Romanian troops. So that is nice. Um, once again, because of our overall plans for the spring offensive will be just kind of flooding to the south. It seems like they can really dig in to the west here. Um, the south, they're not nearly as dug in. So we've got, you know, an army set up here. Did they seriously abandon that town? Or are they just somewhere I can't see them? Either way, we're not going to start marching around in winter, because that's going to ask for serious trouble. Everything's nice, hunky and dory on the Serbian front. They're dug in, hills with the mud. It's late February, we'll see. You know, we don't want to be marching around in mud either. But once things clear up, the Serbians will go on the attack just to make sure we keep drawing Austrian forces to having to deal with them. We don't want them to be able to pull everything back and concentrate against the Russians. But yeah, things are generally going okay. I am taking a look in this theater, see if everything's, you know, kind of fine. And really, everything's just kind of on ice for now. Brosilov's right there. Interesting. He's got an army corps right there that could also help out. So it's weird. It's that rail line. See, I don't know what's wrong with that, but okay. Got aviation group right there. Okay, let's go up here to look at the Polish front. Samsonov still sits here in command. He's gained some traits here, but he has successfully held on to Warsaw. They've never forced us off of it. Ivanograd we got forced off of, then came back and managed to retake it. Um, there's been some really big fights that have happened over around here. Then finally, it looked like they were coming back to Konigsberg. They beat us off uh, of Konigsberg, and but after that, they didn't take it. So still holding okay there. We just have three core at Konigsberg. No army to help them. Take a look at our options. Nope, nope. Fun aviation research, tank research. Thirty percent. Oh yeah, you're ahead there. You're oh definitely funding tank research because that'll put us into. Uh, tier 3 tanks. Definitely want that. And despite the fact the Central Powers have tank research, I've not seen any tanks 
and their aviation seems to really just be a bunch of recon that we shoot down with impunity. So they've definitely been slacking on those fronts. Despite having the research, taking a look. Uh, nope, nothing really stirring there. Oh yeah, that was stupid. You want know, I left these two core out in the middle of nowhere without some supplies. That was real genius. So uh, they're they're attritioning big time. Other than that, let's check the caucuses. Hmm. You guys are actually good to go on the offensive, but the weather's crap, so I'm not sending you. But yeah, that's interesting. So I'll rail these guys back around again. Basically, the entire caucus is front. It's just, it's just been me railing troops back and forth to make sure that I've got the upper hand on us, and that's it. Uh, we may try to push Urzurum. Maybe. I don't know. Part of the issue is it's just such freaking hard terrain to push into. And once you get there, I mean, it's it's one strategic point. It's It's just not much, so... So we'll see, but I'm not feeling like uh, we need to definitely take it. Okay, we need to do our reinforcements. Romania's okay, well, give you one cavalry there. Serbia, give you two there. Cossacks. And Russian troops. Okay. We still have 11 in reserve there, so that's okay. Our recon planes. Our recon planes, that screwed up. Yeah, you're okay. Or some of the other recon planes. Sars Air Fleet. Yeah, you're pretty screwed up. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Save and go. Um, obviously, we need to boost up our recon plane numbers a little bit um, next round. But we've got great amounts of war supply, so that's not an issue. The only thing that limits us is conscripts. So... Not expecting much movement out of Austria, if any, down here. Just because the AI seems to go rather static also when once winter hits. It seems to understand that eating a bunch of winter attrition um, is normally not a good plan. Now, I'm also a little concerned. I don't know if they've actually pulled out of that town, or I just can't see them there. But I'll wait till the weather, get, weather gets better. If they have, in fact, pulled out, I, of course, will seize it once the weather improves. Because our main goal is just kind of get down here and then retake, link up the Serbians and retake Belgrade. And then liberate all of Serbia. Because once I can do that, I get access to uh, a few more recruiting centers for the Serbs, for like infantry divisions and things like that. And considering the Serbs have good quality units compared to just the average Russian unit. Um, you know, the Serbs are slightly better. Um, that's worth the using. So... Yeah, right now the big concern is just keeping the manpower numbers up. And of course, you know, we've got to keep doing the replacements because that's what really matters. The replacements you have reserve, you know, what you actually field, you know, as replacements after casualties are taken. It's the manpower number up here is what you use to purchase said replacements. So it's it's the step one of this two-step process. But, um, yeah, this war is definitely dragged on for... Coming up on three years now. It's 1917. So. And then we do need to plug that. So once Renekonf activates, you know, we'll charge him in. Or, hell, maybe we'll even have to have Brusilov link this up. But we want to get this top rail line reconnected. So even though we're double linked over here just a little bit through that line here and then this line here, you know, as I've as I've said repeatedly the series, you don't want to have one rail line connecting everything because as soon as it's cut, you're in trouble. 
So just getting that connected makes it so these two are very hard to cut at the same time. Now, granted, we've got very good defensive positions around here. I mean, the only way to cut this line here is to realistically, you know, if he could somehow cross the river quickly, he could do it. But then even then, then we've got the backup there. So they'd have to take this and that for that. Um, on this part here, um, you know, there's no way they're knocking us out. We've got too much firepower right here for them. And I accidentally clicked while the turn was going on here, so I hope it still is okay. But I've got the, the spinning blue circle of death there, so we'll, we'll give it some time to see if it's still processing or not. But yeah, when it comes to this game, uh, you definitely have to have a good amount of patience. If you are not a patient person, this is not the game for you. I will say that. Like I've, like I've said a few times, this is the best World War One game I've seen kind of from a strategic level. Um, so. That's why I put up with this. Oh, we've got the little black screen and the gear wheel, so it's still processing. Oh. Okay. Still going on. We've got one of the supply phase now. And as soon as that, and that's the other thing too, when, uh, as soon as we get that tank research, we will have access to level three tanks, but we won't actually field them until they get replacements in there. They don't automatically just upgrade like the infantry do. They upgrade based off models, so. So in short, you basically pay for the upgrades, you know, with war supply, which is fine. I got tons of that, but. So we'll use our tanks. We'll see them go and uh, we'll see what we can do. Sound of the airplanes. They still have a good force up there under Hindenburg, just northwest of Warsaw. Um, let's see, we've got the, the glitch where it's shown the unit card like three times there, so I don't know which one's the real army. But they're coming in. Please take that fight, because that 500 stack is going to do nothing. Because when you see that combat number right there for us, you see the 696. That's not the combat power of our entire stack. That's literally just Samsonov's army only. That doesn't include any of the core that are under him. So. Yo. Oh, Hindenburg. That was beautiful for us. It's like their attacks are just getting desperate. I mean, to be fair, they gotta do something, but that's not what they want to do. Did I lose anything? Nope. The best part about Warsaw is its fortifications right on top of a depot. I mean, so even after the fight, it's very easy to reinforce the troops there. Okay. Yeah, Hindenburg's an 853, and Samsonov is nowhere near that. So despite the superior generals of the Germans, we're, we're doing well. 
I mean, that massacred like a hundred thousand troops of them, and only we only lost thirty thousand. Okay, mud, mud. Okay, so the the winners have thawed, but mud now bounds. And yeah, we're sitting on a stash of 144 ammunition there. You can see in the bottom left-hand corner. I can't shoot, you know, look at right here when I'm clicking over there or hovering over. 144. I mean, it's just, you know, we can just blow massive amounts of ammunition and just restock right up and do it all over again. Okay, so let's check. Yep, we got three national morale off that fight. Central power is still at 41, up to 6.5 million casualties. And something I saw during the turn resolution, I thought interesting. Yeah, okay. So the Western Entente is now not sieging it, though, but they have military control of this. I find that very interesting. So it's actually disputed. But Western Entente has more. So maybe they came in and then got pushed out. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, these two forces of the Trento and uh, Festungbosen are still under Entente control. So that's good. Let's take a look at the strategic points over here. So they could take Innsbruck, Klagenfurt. Yeah, Brune, I need to take. And then, yeah, going up to Prague. Oh, there's an artillery factory right there in Breslau. Interesting. What does Prague have? Artillery factory also, Pilsen. Ah, Skoda. Money and war supply, ammo. Okay. So yeah, get, getting to Prague is maybe my next big now. Because this is the easiest way to seize strategic points to get extra objectives, and it links me up. So long term, I may have to go into char you know Bohemia, um, but right now we want to be finishing off and seizing all these points here. Then interesting enough, Bulgaria, as I circled Romania, Bulgaria. No strategic points. There's just some with here in Turkey, but we'll see. Maybe I'll end up driving into Turkey. I don't know. Because if I end up driving into Tur Turkey, it has to be through this line here. It has to be through Serbia, first of all. So it's not something I can do right now. Because the line has to, the rail line has to come from Sofia. Because this looks like it's connected. It is not. And then this is not correct into Romania either. So their only rail line is through Sofia, either through Serbia here, or barely going up through um, Romania here. Those are my only options to drive on Constantinople. And actually, let's see how good Constantinople is. They've got an arsenal there. Okay. Imperial Treasury. And a big naval base. Okay. Shipyards there. Salonica is still held by the Greeks. Okay. So let's take a look through the messages here for a second. Yep, there's my idiot self um, getting those divisions completely mollywopped. Yeah, look at this. I mean,. So bad. I mean, these these units are just completely trash. So they need to go back to like Dobrezin or somewhere. And oh, yeah, same thing for you. So I'm gonna send you Dobrezin. Let you rest and refit. Cause I just I just trash those deficiencies. God. Um. Yep, do that, do that. Let's take a look at the tanks right now. Oh. Okay, yeah, look at the difference in the stats. So the first, third tank brigade versus the fourth here. So this is the third, fourth tank brigade. It's still showing the old style. So 2020 um, assault damage 40.
upgrade that. Now it's 3131. So we've got some experience too. Is the cohesion the same? No, cohesion's much better. And a little extra protection. Same amount of frontage. Okay, but just that one's been upgraded, so. Um, take a look. Actually, can I recruit any more tanks because of that? There we go. Helps if I click the right country. Russia. I can. Okay. On map. So I can get four more. Okay, so what I will do is I will do that. Kiev. We're short on money for those guys. You know what? We, we will print money. Okay. And do I have any big attacks I need? You probably will be a big attack, but not right now. Bruce Lee loves 100% on ammunition. That's actually a fantastic sign. Is Renenkampf? No. So you're a 605. Hmm. Okay, well, hold on. You're okay to go there. Same period of time. Are you a depot? No. Your supplies is god awful. Why is your supply so bad? Should almost send you back to Dobrazine to. Supply. Okay. Army Corps, Army Corps. They've just pulled back a lot. I mean, they used to have units that were stationed right here. Okay. It changes things. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing something where it's, oh yeah, we've shifted all the units because now we've overloaded Poland. Get ready to eat it. Or something like that. Okay, so you're good. You're good. Those two positions are holding. You're still here watching that. Okay. Weather's still bad there. Hills clear. Mountains snow. Okay. Okay. Forest, but you have mud. You've got clear weather. Okay. Okay, keep advancing. Say then we'll see. Regarding this though, 
Go three, two, one. That might be our best commander. guys here and start the invasion of Serbia or uh, Bulgaria here just so we can come from both sides and hopefully just separate these units and break because right now this rail line connects them and they can get troops out of Turkey all the way through once we sever this rail line here they won't be doing that so who knows we may drive in and go take Istanbul I mean there's really not much defenses on it and if I'm looking over here, there's just really not many defenses at all. I mean, got a depot. I mean, it's just these are just basic cities. I don't see any real big forts. I mean, there's that fort right there, but that's not on my line. So I think I will probably march to Constantinople. Okay. Yeah, just analyzing it. I think that's in the cards. Three, two, two. Oh, I feel so stupid about savaging those guys. Mud, you still have bad weather, okay? You need to wait for one more turn. Then you can come out swinging here. Send you two of them. Okay. You know, the things I need to consider. We've got two army corps here, of which some of you guys are not doing anything. You know what? I think I'll wait that because you guys are going to advance through there. Ah, yes, Bruce Eloff, where are you going? I mean, do we have a siege chemisole? I don't think so. Do we have Brusilov come down and go big daddy on these guys? I think so. I'm liking that thought. Okay. Okay, Thermic Court, you're good to go there. Gotta leave one core in the city, but fourth army. I think you're going here. Okay, you're defending that, you're defending that. You're extra here. to take him out. Fine here. I want to see what he looks like before we attack. Um, I'll have the money next turn so we can also throw out gas attacks if we need to. Okay, that should be coming down there. Brasilov's coming over here. Got two army corps over here. Uh, 
Let's bring you also here. Yep. Looks okay. Looking at the Caucasus. It's crap weather. No one's attacking there. No one's okay. Mud. Uh, you don't want to counterattack because they'll get pulled in. Man, this division though leveled up. Right, a fires five on them. Jeez. Oh my god, this heavy artillery piece. Whew. Rate of fire is a six. That's the thing, too. With all their failed attacks, they've leveled up a lot of these guys. They have killed off some elements here. Or some entire divisions. But the ones that are around here... Oh my gosh, this one. Five stars. He's nearly up to six. If we're going to fire, is a seven. I mean, that's tremendous. Any cell bolts divisions. Yeah, wow. Yeah, we'll do an extra one there because we can. So basically, we need to get the new tank brigades out and we'll use that once we have the money next turn. And save the game. Let it roll. Early March, it'll become. Yeah, because I've got a I've got a good size stack right here. So Brusilov will so you go through there. No, I think Brusilov comes through the south here. We'll let this army come through here and link that up and take out those positions. Yeah, they've definitely moved some positions away from my lines, especially around Vienna. So it makes me wonder where the heck they put them. And they may have just put them to the Western Front, because I'm not really able to figure out where the heck they're at right now. But. So that is interesting. So yeah, we'll have forces come over here and go for Kronstadt. Kronstadt's only level 1 fort, so it should fall. Without too much trouble, but, you know, those are famous last words. But yeah, taking Constantinople is probably a good move, because that's definitely got to be one of the recruitment centers. And I just like the thought of, you know, slicing this railway. Because then we stop having Bulgarian troops flowing over here. And we stop having a bunch of Turkish troops flowing over here, too. It'll divide the Central Powers in two. So they can't, you know, and, and at the same token, you know, German troops couldn't be used to go to the east here either. Once that line is severed. Because then it'll allow me to connect Serbia with Romania and the Russian forces, and then they can start supporting each other. And, and I may fan out, like I've mentioned, some of those Serbian generals, because they're pretty stinking good. Um, so we'll see. I would think that all the weather will be letting up here. So that we're basically going to have no more snow. We may have some mud, though. Because a lot of times when the snow melts, it leaves behind mud. And then mud is still an attritional hell to move uh, troops through. So I don't, don't mess with that too much. But yeah, that's good. That when I did that next tank research, it allows me to research four more tank brigades. So
Yeah, because I mean, literally, my tank core is gonna double, so I'll have eight brigades worth, and those are better quality tanks, also. So. So that's really good for me. And basically from what I can tell is combat kind of has like a fire phase and it's got an assault phase. And if you look at those tanks, those tanks just have a tremendous amount of assault damage. So it's, it looks like it's, you know, not during the range phases, but during the assault phases, those tanks just, you know, huge stats for that phase. So that's where they really shine. Okay, and they seem to be pulling back from Warsaw after the most recent defeat there. No one is shocked. There is going to be a fight over there. This is what I mean. This is why I want this right line cut, because they keep flowing Bulgarian troops out there. Might need an extra group of fighters or two to cover my guys in the Balkans. <sighs> yep, they're backing off Warsaw. And Samsonov really didn't even take that many casualties either. I mean, he's going to be pretty much good to go, and either the, you know, probably next turn he'll be fully as if that fight never happened. Hmm. Yeah, luckily, Renikov's guys got in there and actually. Five one one, eh, one two one. <laughs> Managed to hang on there. Battle of Kazinka. What the heck is that? Ah. Oh yeah, that was us moving in there. Okay. So give me another fight. Huh. Yeah, next turn, Bruce Elop should be amped up and ready to go. Here's the snow again. Okay, I'll take the save game. We own that. We got the fourth army here. Ammunition, okay. Got the eighth army core here. You're okay. Might need to go there to make sure they don't sever that damn line. Only a smaller stack. I'll probably send you three days. Okay. Dimon Glavich. Yeah. All right. Weather went to crap, so we're not advancing. You've got mud. You've got mud. So you guys, uh oh, what's the nearest depot? Well, everyone goes on the defensive for now. Okay. Look.
looking down here. Come the Romanians. Give me back here for now. We need high command. Yeah, I don't want to overload you. Interesting, okay. You're not activated, you're not activated, of course you're not. You're going to there to Brousseau. Stuck. And you guys just need to rest and refit there. Oh yeah, I need to raise the rest of my tanks. Military recruitment, tank brigades. Do one in Kharkov. Do two in Kharkov. Take a look at the text here. Okay, okay, even. Roughly even. U.S. All right, U.S. is about to be at 60%, which means we'll start giving the war supply to the Western Entente. I won't get any of that, but hey. Whoa, Great Britain. Rebels are at 93% there. What the hell? Oh, Great Britain doesn't get knocked out of the war here. Holy moly. Uh, yeah, wow. Yeah, Brighton gets knocked out of this war. That's, uh, that's no bueno. Central power's up to 43, so they won something. Combat power compared to me is only 191. Western Taunt seems to be going up in strength, so... Let's take a look at the... Okay. 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 Kalmar is still working on Sarborg, if not taken. Still working on Metz, if not taken. Taken Sarborg and have taken Kaiser Lawton. We need to figure out where to jump the Rhine River. That's going to be an issue. Still hold Aachen. They now hold Eiffel. And yeah, that's that on that front. And I think they got repulsed. They still only hold those two. Okay, 
having the Romanians go to link up. Let's see if there's let's see what's good to recruit here. Let's take a look. So we could of course do some more fighters. We could do some heavy artillery brigades in a bit. It's nice and expensive. Do some plain old infantry divisions. Okay. No more medium artillery still though, so I can only do heavies if we want artillery. Serbia. I can basically just build militia up there. That is the only thing I can build. Up. Let's check Romania. Romania I can build light infantry or I can build some or light artillery or some infantry divisions. That's about it. Okay. 81. 81. 81 all cost the same. Cost 48 conscripts, though. That's the issue. That is the issue. So I'm going to hang back and I'll blow all my money here. And I think I'm just going to worry about reinforcements. Okay, that's fine. I'll need to do some on the Russian engineers. Oh yeah, that's what I need to do a lot of. Recon planes and bombers. Okay. Okay. Let's kind of keep in stuff going as much as possible, but yeah, recon planes and especially the bombers we're getting a little low on, so we need to fix that. Okay, you can't go anywhere. Harsh weather, you're not going anywhere. Gotta say, it's nice to see Bruce Ilov actually have full ammunition supply for once. And you know what? What if we gave you some tanks, Brusilov? Two tank divisions to Brusilov. Okay. Those are the older tanks. Okay, you're fine, you're fine. Looking at it, I think everything's fine here. Yep, you're stuck. You can't do anything. Samsonov, not 
doing anything. Okay. Well, we'll take the save game. We'll actually end the video here, and next one will be the turn resolution. So, see you next time.